Hello Internet! Hello Ombre de Mundo! So this video is especially for Ombre de Mundo, but you know, kind of for everybody. But, so, Ombre de Mundo is our one and only man of world. A Swede with a Spanish moniker, like a really bad Spanish moniker. But anyways, um, so I said I had something very special for you, Ombre. And so, uh, if you hearken back to couple years ago when we would Skype and do the podcast on Zelda Universe, occasionally you'd be munching on something and you said that it was licorice, but it's not like our licorice that we have in the United States where like <clears throat> black licorice is like jelly beans that nobody wants to eat or like black Twizzlers that... No one eats them. Sit, they sit on we the shelf them. for like years and they're rock hard. But I don't really, I don't hate licorice. Um, it, evidently in like Sweden and okay. Holland and Norway and stuff, they have licorice that will like melt paint off the walls or something like that. It's Ooh. like salty mm -hmm. and so it's not like... Salty paint peeler? <clears throat> yeah. So salty licorice, I'm not a huge fan of licorice to begin with and salty licorice, I just don't know. But okay, so, Ombre, we have some real licorice. Evidently this is the real deal from Holland. Everything in this bag I have here is from Holland except these large ones. These are from Australia. But all of the other ones, or wait, was it Holland or Norway? Oh shit. No, I can't remember. Holland. It was Holland? Okay. Yes. <clears throat> I don't know. Scandinavia. <laughs> okay. And, um, oh yeah, so we got these at Westside Market. It, we're from Cleveland, Ohio, which is Rust Belt, Midwest kind of area on the Great Lakes. But we have a world-renowned um, like market with fresh meat and cheese and bread and vegetables. It is fantastic. Yeah, it, all of the like the celebrity chefs that have restaurants in town on, on like the foodie scene, they shop at Westside Market and stuff. But you can find almost anything there. So we found this real Scandinavian licorice. So, Ombre, we're going to try your licorice and tell you what we think. So we have a couple. I, I told her to mix it up. She had like a couple of bulk bins, so she just kind of threw a few pieces of everything in there. So we have a few different kinds. We've got these tiny little like gumdrop sized ones. I'll put one here for you and one All here right. for me. <clears throat> we have these ones that say, they have words on them, Zout. Zout. Zout, Zout. Z-O-U-T. Zoutalo. It's um, Debbie, Girahim Debbie's favorite licorice. It's an awesome diet. Like, oh, we're YouTubers now. Put your hand behind it so oh. y'all can see it. Oh. Zout. Okay, and then we have these ones that look like, oh, they're like little cats. <laughs> oh my gosh, can you see? Oh, they're like little kitties. That's there cute. You. And then we, oh, these ones look like beehives and they're a little bit brown. Supposedly they have a touch of honey in them. Mm. Um, <clears throat> and then there's these kind that have like caramel or something on the outside with a licorice core. And then we have these two that are stuck together. Yeah. They're dusted with sugar. They're kind of like diamonds, but they have sugar on them. We have a lot of liquors to try. I hope they're good. And we'll save the Australian ones for last because that's, I guess that's not like real. I will note, uh, having <laughs> never had this kind of licorice, uh, it seems a little harder just from the notion like this is that zout. This is like rock hard. Yeah. I don't know if it's stale or if it's supposed to. Oh, it's on the floor. 10 second roll. Indeed. Okay. So I have a feeling these first three might actually kind of end up tasting the same, I guess. Okay. But, okay. Let's start with the little one. So cheers. Cheers. Mm, that's really hard. That's what she said. <laughs> mm. Hmm. I can see how it's more salty instead of like minty. Like American liquor mm. kind of has like a clove, kind of like a clove flavor. Mm-hmm. And not in a bad way with with this licorice. It's a little, I wouldn't say more bitter, but it's not as sweet. Mm-hmm. 
And I think I can taste the saltiness, and I think that's kind of what I'm... Now, like, the cooling, like, the menthol background is, like, way back there. Hmm. Definitely okay. haven't had that before. Hmm. I don't hate licorice, and I didn't hate that. Yeah. It's still in my teeth. How do I clean my palate? With beer! Beer! Okay. Oh. oh. This is so unattractive. <laughs> Want to make out? <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I can pick out the licorice in your teeth with my tongue. Mm -mm. Pick out the licorice in mine. Oh. All right. <laughs> Zout is next. Zout it out. Zout. All right. This is going to be so hard. <laughs> oh, my God. Start with a little bit. Mm. Mm. Mmm. Mmm. Can definitely taste a lot more saltiness here. Mm hmm. Actually, I taste more salt than I do licorice. I like it. Mm. I mean, it kind of satisfies the a salty and a sweet tooth and a chewy. Mm -hmm. Satisfaction all at the same time. Hmm. Yeah, you've got sweet and salty. I'm, I guess I'm not a licorice hater. Hmm. I wonder what the statistic is, like one in how many <laughs> people like licorice. Oh, mm. I already moved on to the cat. I bit mm. the cat's head off. All right. Now, I took a larger bite of this out because I took a tiny bite earlier. Mmm. Mega salt lick. Mm-hmm. Mega rush. Mm. The kitty's more sweet. Mm. That's more like a traditional, almost like a candy. It's definitely sugar. Mm. It's not salty. Oh, it's just like the inside of a good and plenty. Mm-hmm. Ah. That's the kitty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cool. Mm. More beer. To wipe the palate clean for the next attempt. Mm -hmm. mm. All right. All right, onward. We've got these little beehive. Beehive shaped guys. They're supposed to have a touch of honey. They're a little bit brown instead of black. Oh, they're very soft. Very soft. Hmm. I wonder if we're going to have our heart, hearts racing. Have you heard about that with actual black licorice relative to American black licorice? I forgot the name of the chemical, but it's actually a, uh, a stimulant. Like, you would have to eat, like, an entire, like, like, a pound over a course of a week or something. There was a story just, like, a few weeks ago I read on FARC of a lady that ate a pound of black licorice over the course of a week and was having all sorts of heart problems because oh, wow. it, it does stimulate you. I mm. forgot the, uh... So apparently it can be a good pick-me-up. In moderation. Mm-hmm. That was good. That was sweet. It was less... It was less zesty. Mm-hmm. And more just sweet. molasses -y. Yeah. That's a good description. Okay, we've got two pieces left. We've got this kind with the core and the caramel on the outside, and we have our sugar diamond. <clears throat> All right. Hmm. Reminds me of those Halloween candies. Mmm. Those Brocks. Mm-hmm. Halloween candies. My grandma used to have the. Uh, they're kind of like that on the outside, but a lot of them have like white cream on the inside instead of licorice. But mm -hmm. yeah, it's like a caramel. Mm -hmm. Outside. I love those. Everybody would get rid of them, and I would be like, "Give them to me." Oh yeah. Hmm. We're good. Mm hmm. Well, especially you've got so much sweetness coming from the caramel. I don't even taste before the hitting licorice, the licorice. Actually. Yeah. We're Americans. If it's really sweet, we're gonna like it. <clears throat> a lot of sugar. All right. So here's our last. One besides the Australian one, I guess we can try that since we're here. But yeah, this is our well. last Scandinavian Holland 
Danish licorice, I guess. I don't understand how you guys, Europe, you do, you have like eight names for all your countries. But anyways, last one. <laughs> mm, it's gummy. Ah! It's sticky. And our screensaver activated. <laughs> we need to set that for a little bit longer. Apparently 10 minutes. Mmm. Mm. Well, it's just kind of a traditional licorice. Very gummy. Mm-hmm. It doesn't stick in your teeth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. Yeah, the zout really got in my teeth. Well, that's clean. So which one of those did you like the best? Hmm. Hmm. Probably, probably the honeycomb. I think that was kind of the good, like, bridge kind of between what I'm okay. used to as far as licorice. Um, the one with all the caramel, it just tasted, to me, that just tasted too American, just too sweet. And mm -hmm. Couldn't really taste the licorice flavor. Mm -hmm. um, this. Uh, the Zout was the super salty one, right? Yeah, because yeah. then the cat. Yeah, and the little, little mini gumdrop sweeter. ones were rather salty, too. They're very yeah. similar to the Zout. And I think it's interesting. It's it's such a different taste. That mm -hmm. It's something I think if I, I had more of it, I might, I don't know. Get used to it? You, might, you mean you want to have more of it? or No, just kind of in general. Like if I, you know... By eating more of it, I think I, you know, you develop a taste for something. Mm -hmm. Kind of like I beer, like, yeah, you know? it's kind of satisfying with the saltiness and the very subtle sweetness, and it's so chewy that you chew on it for a long time. Kind of like it Seems satisfy like your craving for something salty and sweet and to chew on without eating a lot of actual physical things. These tiny little yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking of. The big difference with this is a little goes a long yeah. way, whereas with American red licorice. You like just want to eat as much as you can because it's just like solidified corn syrup, essentially, mm -hmm. like with a little bit of artificial Red coloring and fake strawberry and, flavor. Yeah, so you can just eat through an entire bag and, you know. Well, here, here's a piece of the Australian stuff just so we can. Oh, it's here. We have it. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, my dear. Oh, it's very soft. Mm. Hmm. Wow. Really strong flavor. It's really strong. Hmm. That's like kind of like a just a traditional American style. Or like But about twice as thick as an American. Yeah, it's very thick but it's very soft, so you get a lot of flavor. Yeah. It's hmm. pretty good. Hmm. I guess I like licorice. Yay! Yay. Not my we favorite. have tried something new. Mm -hmm. So, there we go, Ombre. Right? <laughs> we own, I own, our household owns a shoehorn. Yes. So photo have, proof. You had to give him photo proof. Uh, of you've the seen the photographic proof that we have a shoehorn. And now we've tried your licorice and we like it. So, yeah. Can we be honorary sweets? <laughs> please. Pretty please. <laughs> okay, I guess that's Bye. it. Bye. Bye.